I'm gonna say I thought this I thought this was a real chill song. I think it was um I think it was definitely cool that it was something I, and we got this from you guys. Like of course we didn't know. And I'm guessing whoever like I guess if you stream the album you didn't get letter, but I'm I could have sworn you guys said if you bought the album letter was included and i thought that was really dope if that's if that's the way it's went because that's from what i've heard and what i, I thought i've taken away from it but um i thought that was really dope for jim to do it's kind of like you get like a special thing included to where it's like if you're not getting it if you didn't get it here this is like if you didn't buy it here you, you wouldn't get this and i thought that was really cool because it, it offers something different that right. people don't get uh, uh get a chance to witness unless you you know of course you can go online and get it but it's like to have it as a collector is like, oh, I got it. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's more valuable. I wonder if something, and I know they told us that, but I wonder if that was actually something that they let people know as well, as opposed to it just being like a surprise thing. Like, maybe if you streamed it, like, yeah, I mean, it would make more sense for people to know that if you bought it, you got the extra song. But I was just trying to figure out. I know people, the fans will tell us how they did it specifically, like, did you know going into it that if you streamed it you didn't get it and that or was it just like a hidden thing oh if you bought the album you got a letter with it so i just felt like that would be dope either way either i want to still be dope I, it, it would but i, I want to say it was a hidden thing even hearing jungkook come out in Times square now like then uh, i just said of course this is jimmy and that's jungkook but i'm saying like just as far as the bts thing speaking I'm, of jungkook they actually said i heard somebody say he was on the background vocals for this yeah Oh. Somebody, somebody did say that too. That's, that's tough. Yeah, so I mean, it feels like they can kind of just be so in sync that's like you can't really tell. It, it meshes so well with them. Mm -hmm. and I, what was you about to say? I was gonna say I thought this was a very chill song. Um, I like the chill vibe of it. I also, want, I want to know exactly who he's speaking to. Like See, I, they said that this is for the army. Mm. So I, I honestly, I kind of wanted to break down the lyrics a little bit more um, and still be quick about it. But I feel like when he said. This is deliver. I'm I'm delivering this, so it's not taken lightly. It's like somebody else could say what he's trying to say in this song to them, but mm -hmm. at the same time, for them to know that it actually means something, mm -hmm. he's gonna deliver it, and he delivers it in a hidden track to them. So it's like mm -hmm. it's taken much more serious when you hear it coming from the actual artist as opposed to just like a letter put being put out from maybe like I don't know. It could say it's from him, but to hear it in lyrics that he actually chose to sing himself mm -hmm. i mean you could just see that the song was just about how the times that they've been going through they have always been with each other and mm -hmm. now it's like i'm gonna help you in your time of need the way you would have always helped me in my time of need throughout mm -hmm. this whole entire journey so this song is specifically for you guys because we kind of have this thing where we we're sticking by each other mm -hmm. so that's what i got from i felt like it was really dope man just to to feel to know that like you always get a connection through the songs but at the same time this is like a deeper connection mm -hmm. like it really gets you on a emotional level to know that it's been a roller coaster through this entire journey but at the same time i know y'all been with me and guess what i'm right back here with y'all and i i think i just think that's cool because just just the mental health and everything and for you guys for him to take it so seriously to to thank you guys and for you guys to thank him it's kind of like a thing to where it's like it's a back and forth respect thing man and i and i can honestly appreciate that from jim and just from the army how you guys you know love each other i think it's very very dope but um yeah i feel like you know it, it just it helps to know that you can get that type of connection from somebody that you actually cherish and really care about like so often you have these artists and you have these family and i'm not sure what they do i'm not saying that they don't do the absolute most but when you dedicate songs to them like it just really shows you how much they actually mean to you because of what you mean to them so mm -hmm. I, I i loved it for that bro. i loved it for the whole fact that it just was a personal note to them like mm -hmm. giving his respect to them the way they you know do it and vice versa so and, and i and i honestly can say i think this is why bts in general in general and just the, the uh members that make up the group are so much loved and so valued and and cherished as far as what they do because it's like for them to put this much passion in it man it's like you can how can you not love these guys yeah like, so uh, i just i respect but at it. the same time i feel like the fans because i mean it's like bts could say the same thing mm -hmm. about the people that care for them yeah that's why stuff like this is so important for mm -hmm. them to do because it's like how can you not love the fans when they go this hard and actually be in your support system throughout everything that you go through your entire journey like completely explaining defending and helping you out through situations where 
you might really feel alone. So mm-hmm. it's like, shout outs to the fans, shout outs to BTS, bro. Shout outs to the, these K pop artists that really developed these fan base and these. And I could have sworn it was a point in time, too, even back in the days where it's like, I don't want to say nobody wasn't rocking with BTS, but I think BTS was going through a lot of stuff yeah, or something I like mean, that. It's just a, and just for like everybody to stay consistently loving BTS and to bring them out of that and then watch them like prevail through all of this and like yeah. look at the stuff they've accomplished now, it's like mind blowing. So yeah. it's like. That was good. I like that, man. Yeah. I like that. So. I liked it too. But guys, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here as usual, guys. Thank you again for the reaction request. But once again, my name is Kogan. It's your boy, Kaden. And that's Skull Pack React. Peace.